What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a Liverpool match day poster design. Now this is going to be something very simple, a few gradients, a little bit of displacement maps and then some images. Now you will have seen this on my Instagram as part of my 365 day challenge and you guys really liked it. So I thought, it, you know, it's about time, it's about time, you know, we uh, we brought a poster design back because obviously we've been doing little bits of um, ideas and tutorials recently on like displacement maps, skin retouching, stuff like that. So I thought it was about time we brought back a poster design just so you guys have something, you know, a little bit different to uh, watch and hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, obviously smash the like button. Um, we're trying to get at least 50 likes on each video now, I think that's reasonable. So you guys have been killing it lately, so thank you so much for that. And without further ado, I will get straight into the video. So guys, the first things first, you're going to need to make a new document. So you're going to want to go 2160 by 2700. Now this is probably the largest size you can have on Instagram. It'll give you the biggest platform to sort of, you know, composite your designs. So once you click continue, you'll have your document open. Now the first things first, we're going to need to make a gradient. This is really simple. You're just going to go down to where your adjustment layers are and you're just going to go to where it says gradient fill or just gradient for me, um, but it's a gradient fill. And you're going to open this up and we're going to start changing the colors of this. So we want probably at the left, we want a dark red and then at the right we want a light red. So when you're getting your dark red, make sure it's quite dark. And then when you go up to the top here, you're going to want to go for a light red and then just drag this white one away. So it's nice gradual effect um, like that. So that's really perfect, to be honest. Um, so you can close that down. You can change this angle a little bit if you want. So it's a little bit diagonal. Um, like I have just done there, like 103, that's fine. So once you've got that, you, you're good to go. Now we're gonna go into the texture pack where we have the images and all the texture and stuff you will need for the design. So open up your texture pack, it's in the link down below, so just download it. And uh, we're gonna go and find where the background images are. So this is gonna be the background image, so I'm gonna drag and drop it in, and I'll show you what it is um, once it loads. A few moments later. Okay, so this is going to be an image of Anfield. So it's a 90% opacity I have it on. It's just a black and white image. Make sure when you're overlaying images on a gradient background, they're black and white because it just makes them look a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to soft light and we're going to just reduce it down to about 90% just so it's a little bit faded into the background. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to move it up a little bit. So about there is good, um, maybe a little bit more. And we're going to add a layer mask to this. So add your layer mask get a soft brush and make sure you've got black selected and what we're going to do is we're just going to start painting away the pitch just so it's not such like a like a harsh you know like bottom of a, like a cut out image uh, we want it faded out into the background so that's pretty good just make sure you've faded out the pitch so it's not so harsh on the um the bottom of the design that's good so now we can see the background and see the stadium lfc that's good you can have a bit of the pitch back in if you want um, but you don't need too much of it, so that's sort of fine um, getting rid of all that and now we're going to go and get some texture So go back to your texture pack and then there's a texture that you can overlay now This is just going to be some sort of grainy texture that I found um, it's nothing, you know special <laughs> I'll just it's uh, set to linear dodge. So I'll set it to normal so you can see what it is uh, It's just that so you're going to overlay that basically set it to 20% opacity just so it's not too daunting over the design and then using linear dodge add it blends into it So that's all good so we've got our background set up and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shut down this um, background layer and we're going to open the player images. Now I have already edited these images so you don't need to but obviously I have a video out which is about skin retouching so I'm going to quickly show you what I did with them but you can go back and watch the skin retouch video and you'll basically have a better understanding of how I did it because I'm not going to explain too much in this video. First things first you want to go and drag your main image, drag and drop him in and this is going to be the big image of Harvey Elliott. Now we're going to want him off to the edge. So somewhere about there is good. You can move him in a little bit more, but somewhere about there is good. And we're going to click OK there. So now that I've got my image in, um, I would usually, before, like obviously when I dropped it in, I would usually add some effects. But if I just go into the smart object, you can do this as well. Double click on the smart object, you will see what I've added to it. So if we zoom in a little bit, you'll see I've added curves layers on his eyes just to make them brighter. Same with the brightness and contrast. Hue and saturation is to make them white. And I've added a curves layer on his face just to make his highlights brighter. And then the same with the shadows just to make it the bits darker. So I did this really quickly. Um, obviously there's bits missing and stuff, but that's all I did for this image. Like I didn't add anything extra is what I'm trying to tell you. So you can go in there and look at that and see what I did, but it's very simple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this guy down a little bit. And then I'm going to go find my other image of Harvey Elliott, which where I applied the same effects. So I'll put him down about here. Um, about there is good. So if I go into the smart object here as well. I've got shadows on his knees just so it's a bit darker. I've got a dodge and burn as well just to make everything a little bit harsher and the same effect on his eyes and his face with the highlights and shadows. So it's all pretty similar to what I did before on the other one. Um, but if you have any like concerns or like wondering how I did that, then go watch my previous video on skin retouching. Trust me, it's a really good one. Everyone seemed to really enjoy it and I hope you, you know, learn from it. So we've got our two images in. Now, what I would do next is probably add some shadows for this guy. So if I click a new layer and I just make a thin brush. So go to your brush settings and you'll be presented with this. Make sure you make this really thin and then probably a bit thinner than that actually. And then you're going to go zoom in and we are going to start painting shadows in. So make sure you've got black selected. Uh, change your opacity to about 30% I would. And then we can just start painting in. Oh, well, no, we don't want white. We want black. So make sure you get right underneath his legs, just so it's very close contact, which is what it would be if he was kneeling, if he was actually kneeling down on the floor. Um, the shadows would be really close contact, so they would have to be really dark. So that's the main focus with this. So make sure you make them really dark, and then we should be good. So keep clicking, make a harsh contact with the floor, and then that's good. What we need to do now is we need to add another shadows layer once we've completely finished off this bit of the shadows here. Make sure they're nice and sharp. And we can zoom out so you see he's on it he's on the floor or whatever now we're going to set this to multiply and then we're going to zoom in and we're going to add another layer now so we're going to add another layer for the shadows set this one to multiply as well this one's just going to be a bigger overall shadow so obviously where he's got there are going to be dark bits you want it bigger so like that that's really good and just reduce this down to about probably probably about 50 percent and if you zoom out it just gives a nice dark area around him just because it's going to be dark where he's kneeling down so you want to, like, the area needs to be dark to make sense, basically. So we've got him in there. We've got the foot shadows done nicely. That looks really good. Um, the next thing we're probably going to do is add some type. So if I go in and close these images down, you can open the text up. So this text is full of the verses, the text, and the logos. Um, so first things first, we'll probably, I'll probably just, dr I'll probably drag the text across first and the verses, just so you can get an idea of how I've done this. And I can sort of talk you through it, how like my, what my thought process was. So there might be a font in here that you don't have. So I recommend you do download it. So if I'm just going to open this up, I'm just going to show you what the text is. So it's high rise demo, it's called. So it's condensed. You definitely want to download this text. It's a really popular font at the moment. It looks really clean and it just works well. So what I've done is I've basically gone in and I've set the type to 43 point, made it nice and big, and then basically dropped them, left aligned them and left a gap here for the verses. So the verses is basically part of the text. So it just sits in this nice little gap. So it, it adds a, like a position, a filler, and it looks good. So it's some, some simplicity basically, and it just makes it easier for you guys to um, sort of make make the text look good because it's, well, it's, all, it's all, all well and good just putting some text in, but making a nice little indent and stuff, and just a little different color as well, like matches the kit. It's just something extra which will like please people. Um, the secondary text again down here is all in lowercase, well, no, no, well, some of it's in lowercase um, apart from the, the first letters and then I've got the Emirates logo as well, the Emirates FA Cup logo sorry, um, because it was an FA Cup game I did this for. So that is the reason that I've got the logo there. You can obviously swap this out for a Premier League logo or whatever league logo you're going to use this design for. Um, but that is how I did the text, it's nothing really major, it's just dropping text on the, and left aligning it um, all together. So yeah, that looks nice. So if we just move that down a little bit and then we're going to go and grab the logos. Now the logos are just white outlines. Uh, again, I left align these with the text, put them at the top. That's nice. So these are just, you know, white logos. You can find these on the internet. Just search Google uh, white logos or whatever the hell, what Liverpool white logo, whatever it is you're looking for. And then you can drop those into your design. So that's good. So we've got, we've got our, our basic um, poster design ready to go now. So if I go back in here, I can see that I've got some displacement white shapes. Now, if I change this to black or whatever, um, you'll be able to see them better, but I'll just drag and drop them in and you'll get the idea. A few moments later. So now that he's loaded, I'm just gonna drag them across to somewhere about here. And once they've loaded, you'll be able to see what they are. 
So if I go into this, I'm just going to move the text above that real quick. So if I go into these shapes, you can see I've added a displacement map to them. Now they are just grainy displacement maps that I've added to them. They're on my Patreon, so the link is down below if you want to check the Patreon out. But if you want to make your own, just go and find a rough texture and apply them to it. So it's nothing major. It just makes them add a nice little effect around the edge of the design. Um, and just gives the design something extra. And also, if you go into them, I've added some noise to them because when you add noise, it just, again makes the design look nicer. So, and all, and it makes it feel more like together as well, which I uh, do recommend. So we've got our whiter shapes in there. Um, obviously, I've got a tutorial on displacement maps if you wanted to understand how I did that. Um, it's nothing, it's nothing major, but it will give you a ba basic understanding of how those shapes look like that, basically. So we've got our shapes in. That's good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a white stroke around the edge of this Harvey Elliott image. So we're going to select this. So holding Command or Control, select your image. As you can see here, I've got it there, and there's a little square popping up. So click that, and then you select the whole of Harvey Elliott. So what we're going to do now is get a white solid fill, and it's going to act as a stroke so let's go to solid color we're going to go for a white color and then that's going to be an accurate selection of the edge of Harvey Elliott so what I want to do now is move it below him obviously because we don't want to lose Harvey Elliott and then we're just going to use our arrow keys and we're going to go to the left so I'm just going to press this maybe five times or maybe even less than that so one two three looks pretty good so now as you can see I've got this nice little white line going down the edge of him and it's just a nice little effect people have been adding lately to their sports designs. Um, so if you want to do that, that's how you do it. Uh, I'll do it again with the bottom image as well. So select him, holding control or command, and then solid color, white. Move that below him. And then use your arrow keys to just move it along. So I've gone two, and maybe move it up one because I don't want it on the shadows really. So maybe one, there you go. So now if we look at this, looks like he's got a little bit of a paper cutout effect, which looks quite nice actually. We can even move it in a bit more if we don't want it too harsh. Overall, I think that looks really nice. It's a nice little effect. So now if I just go back to the text pack, just check what we've got in here, make sure I've used it all. Again, I've added these effects in for you if you don't want to make them yourself. So that's pretty much it, guys. We've got pretty much everything in the design. Now, I can add um, a, a layer of noise if you would like. So you can create a new layer. And this is how you create your own noise background. So just fill this with probably black would be best. Um, so let's just fill our color with black. So there you go. And now we're just going to go to filter noise and add noise. Now you can pick your amount really. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go for about 10. That's a good bit of noise. And then we're just going to set this to screen. We'll set this to screen. And then that's going to add just a nice little effect over the top. Look, it looks all noisy and grainy on the uh, shadows and everything. And it just basically brings it all together and makes it look all stuck together. So there is our poster design. Um, I am going to add some saturation to these player images just because I feel like they're a bit white. So if we add some saturation to them, probably about 1920, same with the bottom one as well. Just makes the whole design look a little bit warmer, something I've been doing a lot with the uh, end product of my design. Adding in a saturation layer can just make it look nicer and uh, more inviting. So I think we've covered everything there. I'm just going to go and do a camera or filter real quick. So let's go and do that. Command, uh, command control option E. For obviously a screenshot, obviously control option E on a Windows, and then you can get your uh, smart object, make a smart object so you can save your camera or filter. I'm just going to open up camera or filter now, and we're just going to go and tweak some stuff. So really I want this to be a contrast image, so I'm just going to boost the contrast up a lot. Highlights, you can obviously boost those up too. Shadows, bring them down. Um, obviously, it's going to make the gradient look better. Clarity, you can bring up. Texture, you can also bring up. Dehaze, maybe a little bit. The dehaze will help bring the... Um, the actual stadium back into the design so that'll look good and then saturation you can also bring these up maybe not too much but that's good curves make it brighter make it darker more contrasting just looks better and sharpening i've got this up to about 40 on my one um these are high quality images so sharpening them makes them look a lot better so that's why i did it um noise reduction you can do that a little bit doesn't really matter too much and then reds you can play around these if you want to but i've got them all pretty pretty standard to how i want them so i'm not going to do that effects i'm going to add another extra grain to about 30 little vignette to about 10 minus 10 sorry and then i think we're done i'm just going to click ok and see how that looks yeah i'm happy with that so we've got the foot shadows looking really good 
got the stadium in the background the images look really nice obviously this is a little bit of a shorter tutorial because i've already done the image editing but i don't need to show you that because you've obviously seen the video before and if you haven't you'll probably check that out anyway so i didn't want to keep you here too long i just want to show you how i composited this design together so it's basically just putting images together this was a very simple match day poster um, and it's a good template for you guys to use um, to rinse and repeat because it's very simple and it can be done very quickly so yeah got the shapes on the outside displacement maps got the image uh, retouching stuff text is very simple as well make sure you download the font i'll try to find it in the link in the description below but if not you'll have to look for it yourself high rise demo it's called um but yeah hopefully you do like the design and found it very interesting and you learned a bit from it that would be great so guys thank you so much for watching the videos recently obviously the support's been unreal i really appreciate it we're coming up to nearly 3300 now i think so that's unbelievable thank you so much guys and uh, i'll have more tutorials coming in the future so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time